Hey my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and if this is your very first time to stop by please consider hitting the subscribe button and remember to turn on that notification bell too so that each and every time any new upload is coming up you are the very first person to get notified. And to my returning subscribers thank you so much. I always appreciate all of you and I don't take you for granted. Thank you so so much for your great support always. And so in this video guys oh my goodness I can't still believe it. This black American guy who has been investing in Ghana got arrested and he's actually owning several properties there. So you can imagine why was he arrested? Does it mean that the Ghanaian government, that, does it mean that there's someone who wants to grab or take away his property, his lifetime investment? He, he had actually moved from America to come to Ghana and settled in Ghana. He wanted to invest there, and actually he invested in Ghana. So he's trying to warn other African Americans who are actually thinking of going to Ghana to invest. We know that Ghana is a very good country, but he's saying that this is actually a new thing that is coming up. The moment a foreigner is investing in that country, they are going to come for you. So let's go straight into this video. And this is a public service announcement. This is not to scare anybody from coming to Ghana, but these are the challenges because it's new. The right. great migration is happening. Right. So, you know, we're going through some things, but the most recent thing that happened to me, which was really shocking and disappointing for me, was I had a police chief here, you know, arrest me and tell some lies. The most recent thing that happened to me, which was really shocking and disappointing for me, was I had a police chief here, you know, arrest me and tell some lies. This is quite unfortunate. You can just imagine his contractor is the one who is setting him up. He set him up to the police. His own contractor, someone that he actually trusted on to work on his job. So that I would get arrested in a court. And it was shocking because he was making statements under oath that, you know, um, I'm, I'm a flight risk. I don't live here on an island. I mean, I have millions of dollars worth of real estate here. And he's saying that I don't live on an island. And he caused the judge to arrest me because, you know, some people here, they see us and they think we have money and they want to extort us. Right. So he kept calling me, like asking me for money because, you know, when I fire a contractor, if they do a bad job and if I don't pay them till the job is complete, they go to the police and they say, hey, Mr. Walker threatened to blow my brains out. So I want to, you know, this is a public service announcement. This is not to scare anybody from coming to Ghana, but these are the challenges because it's new. The right. great migration is happening. Right. So, you know, we're going through some things, but the most recent thing that happened to me, which was really shocking and disappointing for me, was I had a police chief here, you know, arrest me and tell some lies so that I would get arrested in a court. And it was shocking because he was making statements under oath that, you know, um, I'm, I'm a flight risk. I don't live here on an island. I mean, I have millions of dollars worth of real estate here. And he's saying that I don't live on an island. And he caused the judge to arrest me because, you know, some people here, they see us and they think we have money and they want to extort us. Right. So he kept calling me, like asking me for money because, you know, when I fire a contractor, if they do a bad job and if I don't pay them till the job is complete, they go to the police and they say, hey, Mr. Walker threatened to blow my brains out. When is the other way around? They are the ones always threatening us. Like I've been threatened by the people I bought the land from to break my house down. Um, but those things are not as serious as what this police chief right, did. Right. You know, so, you know, he kept calling me because we took the withholding tax from one of our contractors. All right. So let's 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 uh, let's let's get the story really straight. Yeah. How did it all start? The, the contractor reported you to the police. Yes. yes. So I paid the contractor to do some work and he had spent some time in the U.S. So he was referred to me by somebody I respected. So first he said, give me 60% of the money. I gave him the 60%. After getting the 60% of the money, he kept delaying to come to the job and getting started. And I said, hey, bro, what's the problem? Like, why are you not coming? I'm on timelines. And he was like, well, you know, materials are short. You know, if I had the rest of the money, then, you know, I could get it done fast. And because he came through somebody I respected, I gave him a hundred. Oh, guys, this is quite, quite unfortunate. You can just imagine a foreigner coming to invest in a foreign run. He is coming to invest in a foreign, 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 foreign land. This is an African-American coming to Ghana to do some investments. 
he was actually doing some building construction there. And he even trusted a contractor, he hired a contractor. This is someone he actually trusted in so much. And the agreement was that after you finish, you do part of the job, after you finish part of the job, I'm going to be paying you half the amount. But this contractor went ahead and he set up this guy to the authorities. You can just imagine a contractor, this is someone, this African-American trusted in him. It's like these locals, they think that the African-Americans, they've got money. So they actually wait for the, develop, for the project or the development to go on. And once it has reached a certain level, they go set him up to the authority. So you can imagine what he's undergoing. He been, uh, actually invested so much, he's left America. He's coming to settle in Ghana. That is his lifetime investment. That is his lifetime investment that he's thinking about settling in Ghana. And yet, boom, hell breaks loose. He just sees cops coming. He's getting arrested. He doesn't know for what. And while inquiring, he actually got into contact with his lawyer. And actually, I think his lawyer helped him out so, so much. Because were it not for his lawyer, things could have been gone haywire. Losing all his property, his lifetime investment, just because someone is greedy, someone. Someone is greedy. They need, they want to take away his property. They want to take his, away his lifetime investment. And this actually happens in a lot of African countries, not even African countries alone. When black Americans or foreign investors venture into other countries, foreign countries, the locals there, they actually think that these foreigners or these African Americans are coming to grab their jobs, they are coming to grab their land. And this is what is making a lot of blacks, or the black folks, the black people. They don't want these African Americans into their countries and into their lands. They prefer, and they normally say that they'd rather stay in America rather than coming back to Africa. You could find that maybe someone actually left Africa. He has been born and brought up in Africa, but went into America to invest or maybe for educational purposes. But when he's coming back, he or she is coming back. He's coming back with that knowledge. He's coming, he or she is coming back to invest or give back to the society what he acquired abroad. But the locals think they see another picture. They don't see anything like investment. Then they are so greedy. They want to take out his property. They want to take out his lifetime investment. This is actually happening in a lot of countries, especially African countries. I think this mentality has got to stop. And the African Americans are supposed to be free to invest in any country they wish to in Africa. So guys, thank you so much. Let me know your take on this in the comment section. And catch me up next for another reaction. Bye-bye.